this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you so much for giving me a try. Today I'm going to do a quick plan with me um, for the monthly November monthly view in my social media planner. Uh, this is not I don't have a lot of appointments or um, functional stuff that I want to put into this one. It's mostly just for tracking stats and any kind of milestones. Um, I track all my posts and YouTube videos and everything during the weeks. So this is just um, for analytics. I want to go ahead and use um, the fall kit from Planners Anonymous that came out last year. You cannot get this kit um, anymore, but you can get pieces of the kit. So it was called Forest Falls and it's absolutely gorgeous. These are the three washi tapes that came with the kit. And since November has a bunch of empty days here toward the end, I'm gonna start by running this gorgeous fall tree washi um, across the bottom. Even though that's gonna cover up the last two functional days in the month, I don't mind that so much. Like I said, I just put analytics on here um, and it's okay if I don't have those last couple of days. I can figure something out for, uh, make that fit. So I'm just going to start by putting this across the bottom. I just love this washi. It is so pretty. I should definitely use it more. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and make it easier on myself and cut this. I don't use really need any functional boxes on this um, spread. If you want to see a November monthly layout where I did do a lot more functional stuff, check out the um, November monthly catch-all plan with me, and I'll try to link that um, at, at least at the end of the video so you can find it a little bit easier. This does not want to go down straight. I decorated my catch-all November monthly for um, Thanksgiving, so it's definitely got a chef-y cooking theme to it. Uh, and surprisingly some blue, but it I think it works. Not typically a color I would associate with November. All right. And then I think I want to go ahead and run um, some more washi tape across the top, which I wouldn't typically do, but um, I don't uh, like the black flowers across the top. So I'm going to go ahead and use this other um, fall plaid washi tape across the top. Hopefully that doesn't look too busy or boxed in and I don't want to cover up the November or the 2020 so I'm actually just going to run it um, off the edge of the page and trim it if I need to. I can't tell if that's straight or not. It is not. And there's a tiny little bit of leaf poking out, um, but that's okay, I don't mind that. Same thing with this side. Oops. This one's got the tab right at the top, so I'm gonna have to get creative when I trim this one. There we go. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just trim this straight. Like that. Perfect. Yeah, I don't think that looks too boxed in. I like that. I love fall. 
I love the colors and snuggly sweaters. <laughs> Sitting in front of the fire with a cat on my lap. side that you're getting a glance of is actually where I track. Um, I've franken planned together a monthly and a dashboard for my social media planner. Um, I just take the first and last pages of the monthly so that I have lots of lines and then um, the rest of the weeks are the dashboard layout. So that's actually something I just started doing a couple months ago and so far I'm really liking it. All right, the next thing I want to do is kind of fill in this space a little bit on the side. So I have the stickers that came from this pack. This is the um, additional sticker pack. And those are sometimes the things that you can still find online. They have extras and you can order them. I'll put a link to Planners Anonymous in the description box below so that you can see if there's anything left. So I definitely, um, I think I want to use this lady. She seems like she would be into social media and with her coffee. So I'm just going to pull some of these sticker sheets with some of the items that I like. Um, she could be curled up in this comfy chair working on her laptop. Um, and I love these minis. I like to sprinkle these throughout my spread, um, especially the peaky ones. And then debating whether or not I want to use this banner on Thanksgiving. That's, we'll, it, we'll call that good for now. So, um, oh, and I want a quote to cover up notes. So I'm going to pull out this quote sheet, pumpkin spice and everything nice. These are white paper quotes, so I don't need to white that out. Autumn is my favorite color, sweater weather, give thanks. Those are all good ones. I might put, maybe I'll put give thanks on Thanksgiving. I'll grab my tweezers. Yeah, I want to put give thanks on Thanksgiving. And I kind of like this great big one up here to cover notes. There we go. And then I want to put um, the girl, I think, down here, maybe with her car. Like she's getting ready to go run some errands. Although she is kind of floating over the trees, isn't she? That's okay. Kind of just, yeah, we'll put her down there. Why not? And then I think, why not? Let's go ahead and put her little car in there. Okay. And then I kind of like, um, I'm thinking I could put another quote kind of here. And then I want to put that comfy chair in. So this stay... There's two stay cozies, so maybe I'll go ahead and put a stay cozy here and put that comfy chair in. I kind of like that chair. And then kind of liking that pumpkin for Thanksgiving. Maybe kind of, no, I don't want to turn it like that. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I like that. I think I want to move that good thanks over though so that they're not over top of each other. This is my palette, my artist palette knife. I love this for lifting up and repositioning stickers. As you can see, it works pretty well. 
Okay, so we're going to put this on Thanksgiving. Yes, I like that. That looks good. There we go. Okay, and then I think, let's see, she's got coffee. Kind of tempted to put one of these coffee cups though on um, daylight savings time ends just because it's, oh, I hate, I hate changing the clocks. I wish that would go away. So I think I'll put that right there. And then let's look for some little, um, they call these minis. So there's always a page of minis that kind of match caricatures that match the girls and guys that are in the kit. And then there are always a bunch doing normal um, kind of work stuff. So like this one with the computer, the little laptop. And this one's either sending or receiving happy mail. That's so cute. I'm just going to sprinkle these around to kind of spice up the rest of the, the page a little bit. This one, this is the same one over here, but um, since it's a caricature, it looks pretty different. Although maybe I'll go ahead and sprinkle these other ones in. I just think these are so cute. And then I want to put these two dancing, I think, down where some of this big, bigger um, empty space is. So maybe down here we'll put a couple. And let's put this girl um, drinking coffee. We'll put her down here, maybe over here. And I think, actually, hmm, autumn is my favorite color. That's kind of nice to put with these trees. I just kind of want a little something down here, maybe. Maybe one of these little crates with some fall harvest stuff in it. There we go. And let's put one more little mini down here somewhere. Just to fill that space up a little bit more. There we go. All right, so that actually, that's my spread. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out so we can put it on the discs and see how it looks. All right, let's put this on the discs. These discs are um, brown discs that I got off of AliExpress, the Asian, Asian equivalent to Amazon. They're still turning a little bit stiffly, but um, I've been working on it. So, but there we go. That is my social media November monthly spread. Um, please stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and do my wellness spread as well with this, this year's uh, fall kit from Planners Anonymous. It's called Woodland Wonders. All right, so this is the monthly view for my wellness planner. Again, I don't need a ton of functional, really anything on here. I just track symptoms. Um, migraines, acid reflux, aches and pains, that kind of thing, because you never know when you're going to have something new crop up and you're going to wish you knew what day that pain started. Um, so I like to use this uh, for symptoms. So I want to use this year's Planners Anonymous kit, which is called um, Woodland Wonders. These are the washi tapes that came with it. And I'm actually, I think it'll be fun to go ahead and do something really similar. Um, to the one I just did. So I'm gonna start again with this washi tape across the bottom, which is just kind of a, a brownish forest floor. And I'm gonna start it right here. And 
and just run it across the bottom. I wish that there wasn't so much blue on this page, but I'm just going to ignore it. Um, you'll see, I did a, another video where I did some flip throughs of um, the Wal Walmart 2021 12 month planners. And um, I definitely point out, it's attractive to me in those videos that the weekends are not colored um, just because it kind of, it doesn't always match the color of what I want to decorate with on a given month. So I like that those are not colored. And that does show through a little bit, but I'm not too worried about it. And here's a peek of next week's spread in my wellness planner. I guess technically it's this week's spread now, um, which is again a nice dark green and indigo blue um, forest fall spread and there is a plan with me video for that uh, so you can investigate that further if you'd like and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the green plaid again at the top um, this time I'm gonna do it just slightly different I'm gonna mostly just kind of rip it roughly um, and put it where the, the dots are at the top of the page and leave November and 2020 kind of just um, alone. So I just did a little bit of a diagonal rip purposefully on that one. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Don't go ahead and, oops. All right, and since I have one lone blue dot showing below the washi tape on that page, I am gonna go ahead and grab a white gel pen to use to white that out. Um, so it doesn't, we don't have that one off there. Um, and the, the gel pen I like to use for whiting out is actually the, the Signo Uniball. Um, the ink flows a little bit more freely from this pen and so for whiting out, I think it works better. This is linked in the description box. Light pressure tends to work best with these pens and then you do need to give it time to dry. So it's a little shiny, it stands out a little bit right now, but that'll disappear as the ink dries. And then I wanna go ahead and use this thin washi tape, which is just kind of a little bit of a random pattern. Forest floor, it looks almost like rain, the gold foil. And I wanna just go ahead and roughly um, cover notes and roughly rip that there and just leave it kind of rough. There we go. Okay, so let me get the sticker kit out now. So this, these are the stickers that come with Woodland Wonders. Um, they're so gorgeous. And I think I wanna go ahead and go with um, some of the animals in this. These kits also come with um, die cuts. So let's go ahead, I like to use these on the monthly view. They're a little thicker, but um, so they're, I prefer them more on the monthly view and they're bigger. Um, so I think for me at least, they work better in the monthly view than in the weekly spreads, which is where I tend to put them. We'll see if there's a quote we want and I like to sprinkle the minis around again, just like I did on the last spread. Um, and then the rest of these, I think I'll wait and just see how this shapes up. So I think I wanna go ahead and pull the animal die cuts out. Um, oh, that one's pretty too. <laughs> the sleeping makes me think of everybody being full on Thanksgiving. So maybe we'll have to put some sleeping animals down there couple little birds, the girl. So these all, there are stickers that match these that are smaller. Um, three little birds, oh, that's cute. All right, so, oops, I just threw a die cut on the floor. Okay, I'm thinking 
again about a quote get lost somewhere beautiful and maybe some of these birds up here if I put all the birds that's kind of cute and then I definitely think I want to put these sleeping animals kind of down here and it's okay because of this looks like the forest floor to me so um, having animals <laughs> curled up and sleeping especially around Thanksgiving I kind of like that um, I could put the squirrel here and see if the little hedgehog will fit over here yeah I think I like that I think that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna grab my tape runner and an old beat up piece of wax paper because I don't want to get sticky on my desk and I think I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle these guys around exactly the way I've got them laid out. So these are die cuts there. You can use them for all kinds of things. I basically just use them as heavy duty stickers. My tweezers. There we go. And that still leaves me plenty of room to write in any kind of symptoms. I'm guessing after Thanksgiving, maybe some acid reflux. <laughs> but I still have plenty of um, functional space for what I might need. There we go. I'll put these guys over here. to do on the sidebar since I have several pieces I kind of want to evenly spread in there I'm going to start I started at one end I'm going to jump started at the bottom I'm going to jump to the top uh, get lost somewhere beautiful I think I like that one I'm going to put that one oh and I ripped it darn it um, I ripped part of the tee off that's kind of cute. I like that. Do a little sticker repair surgery. Put my tea back together. There we go. Probably can't even tell that ripped right there. And then I think I want to try to fit these three birds in. Just kind of evenly spaced in this space that's left. There we go. That looks pretty good. That fits with the quote, get lost somewhere beautiful, in my opinion. Get those little pointy parts sticking down. So the nice thing about this tape runner is, um, if some of it gets on your page, as long as you don't stick anything to it, it rubs right off. So when I get, I'm not too careful about going into these little nooks and crannies because any tape runner there just rubs right off, which I think is pretty convenient, especially considering it's permanent. I don't know why. So many planners, I see so many YouTube videos where planners pick up their tape runner and try to use it upside down. I do it all the time. I don't know why. Okay, last one. Okay. I think that... It's only, oh, I like that he's kind of looking at him. <laughs> right, get rid of that. So the last thing I want to do, just because right now everything's kind of concentrated around the outside edges, I want to go ahead and sprinkle a couple of these minis throughout, just like I did on the other one. So 
I like this girl who's kind of, I don't know if she's doing yoga or relaxing. World Kindness Day. We'll see if we can find something appropriate there. Let's put her there. And I want this girl getting coffee again for daylight savings time. And then we got these, these that are hugging and kind of dancing together. Let's put them on World Kindness Day. Actually, there's two different sets, so I can use them both and put one on either side. That's cute. There we go. And then what else do we have? Reading a book. That is a good one for a wellness spread. Definitely like to read. It's a good activity. Put her there. This one who's got a cold. Um, that's good for remembering to take care of yourself, especially when you're sick. And I'm kind of putting them in between the days so I have plenty of space on the days to still write if I need to. Um, here's one that's actually, that's cooking. That could be a good one for, again, taking good care of yourself. Um, and actually I could put it near Thanksgiving. There. All right. So those are pretty well dispersed. I like that. Um, I'm going to cut the space out for these discs and I'll be right back. I trimmed out this bottom set of holes from the washi tape, so let's go ahead and put it on the discs. So here we go. This is my November monthly spread in my wellness planner using the Planners Anonymous Woodland Wonders Kit. Um, if you liked this video, if you saw something new or were inspired, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.